Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Mae Larson here with Crafting on a Budget. And for those of you guys that joined me last night, we were creating a little mini Halloween album. And here's the album that I um, created with you guys last night. Tonight's gonna be part two of the little mini uh, Halloween, I was about to say Christmas, um, the little mini Halloween journal. And we're gonna be decorating this. As you can see, it's a little chunky. I tend to make chunky monkeys, so that's my personal preference. I can't stray away from it. Before I forget, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by the subscribe button. There's a little bell. If you click on that and click all, it will give you notifications anytime I upload a video or whenever I go live. So please don't hesitate on doing that if you have any questions you guys know you can always reach me on facebook and i will be happy to answer those questions i do have some ink in my hand because i was inking now um i will give you guys the measurements for those of you guys that want to follow along with me tonight um so before um the end of this video i will make sure you guys have the measurements again for this little mini journal I'm going to give you some tips that I find to make it easy for me um, to get my signature pages together and sewn in. Um, last night we had this little template. I don't know of anyone that does this. This is just something I came up because it just makes a lot more sense to me than sitting here and trying to pencil in something. Sometimes when we're using a ruler, we might be off a little bit um, and the alignment's not always perfect 100%. So to avoid any wonkiness, any um, up or downs, I thought it was easier if I did it this way. Um, so this is going to be a hidden spine or hidden hinge almost like you want to call it that and basically what that means is I'm going to attach my signatures to this little template and I'm not piercing my spine on the cover that way um, I don't have to worry about bulkiness here when I'm trying to cover the threads there it'll be all underneath um, the little template thingy you know what I mean so as you can see here this is a perfect example see it's glued down and you don't see bulkiness here when I'm putting putting in the decorative piece all right sometimes you feel like you know when you're trying to talk and you're trying I don't know about you guys but I know I just get tongue-tied but y'all know me for for years now so you guys know how I am okay so to create this little template, um, you're going to need a two and a half, this particular album for this one here. And you're going to use, apply the same concept for your other journals. And that way you don't have any wonky signature pages that are kind of ones, you know what I mean? Like you'll have, some people will attach it and they have one that's up further up than the other. And it's not all perfectly aligned. And so that kind of throws it off. You see what I mean? One's down, one's up. And so when you're attaching it, it looks where the stitch is, it doesn't look so pretty um, over here on the back. Although it's not gonna be seen, but still, even looking at this, it's not very appealing to the eye. Let's see if you can see that. See that? It's kind of, if you attach it like that where one's up, one's down, like this one's the middle one's down. You it's it just doesn't look pleasing to the eye. And you want to make sure all your signatures are sewn in and stitched in um, perfectly aligned, okay, and straight. Alright, so how did I create this? So for this album that we're doing or this little journal, this little piece here is two and a half inches wide by three and three quarters. What you want to do is always have at least a quarter inch seam on top and bottom. Same way as you would apply that with when you're sewing. I'm not a seamstress, but you know, we always have a seam allowance. So this will be our little seam allowance, a quarter inch top and bottom. Now, I knew that my spine was one inch. Now you can apply this concept for your other journals. So I knew that my spine was one inch. And I knew that my signatures had to fit within that one inch. 
Now keep in mind that if you're going to be doing a little chunky monkey like these that are really fat, and the reason these are fat is because it has corrugated, it has um, burlap, it has canvas, it has papers, you know, it has a little bit of everything there. And I went a little overboard. That tends to happen. Don't beat yourself hard because that's happened. All you have to do is just now attach two signatures instead of three that you meant to originally do three. So again, going back to this, two and a half by three and three quarters. And what you're going to do is, you know, your spine is one inch. So you're going to go in and you're going to score at three quarters of an inch and one and three quarters of an inch. Okay. Once you have those two main score lines down there, you know that between here, that score line and this score line, it is a one inch right there. That is one inch, okay? Then you're going to figure, okay, I want a quarter inch seam. So if you go into your scoreboard and you put this, I'm going to bring my little smaller scoreboard. Now this one tends to be off a little bit. This is a We Are Memory. Just a little bit off sometimes for me. It's probably a little less than a 1 16th inch. I gotta get my bone folder. Go figure when you're doing a library, he wants to fall. Okay, all right. So you're going to come in. Um, you see my little score right here. This is the th three quarters and then the one and three quarters. Come in between those two score lines. You're going to score at that quarter inch. And then go over to the other side and score and leave the quarter inch. Again, you see that? I'm going to point. Here's my score line. And then I came into the quarter inch mark. And just between those two score lines, I made a score. Then you figure your center point of your album. If you're doing a three-hole signature attachment, then you figure your center point. Well, my center point on this particular album was one and seven eighth. So I went down to the one and seven eighth right here. And between my two original score lines, this one and this one, I went and I scored right there. Okay. Then I turned it. Now I want to attach three signatures. We're disregarding the outside score line, okay? We're only focusing between the one inch score lines, okay? So I knew that I was doing three signatures, so I went and did it at a quarter inch. So there's one, there's a quarter inch, half inch, and three quarters or one and three quarter inch right here. So it's a separation of a quarter inch. Now, here, and I guess I should take maybe a half. Let's see. Let's use my pencil. Always do the things on pencil with a pencil. That way you can easily erase. So here's the center of that. Here's the center of those two intersecting lines. And the same thing here. Here's that. Here's that. And here's that. And down here, same thing. Okay. So if I was to show you, those are the center little points where I'm going to take my awl, your needle, or your Tim Holtz piercing tool, and right there in the center of those intersecting lines, you're going to pierce in, and that is where you are going to sew in your signature. So in this particular one, if I bring this up to my mat, I'm going to pierce in between those little areas that I marked, and that's going to give me a perfectly aligned um, areas because I'm just going into those intersecting points. Okay, so if I pierced it, should be perfectly aligned, see? Okay, and over here, 
a little intersecting point. It just makes it a lot easier than you sitting here and drawing straight lines and half the time where we get wonky and um, you have to sit here and line it all up and put put all that work and effort. I think it's just easier if you just take your scoreboard and bada bing bada boom make it just perfect. Take out all that guesswork, okay? There we go. So see how they are perfect, okay? Because we went right into the intersecting lines, okay, and pierce. So that just makes it a lot more easy. Now, um, for this, what you're gonna do again, this is my little template to score. Now I've stitched, um, when you don't have so much chunkiness like I did on my other one, um, you can take your sewing machine and slowly, now I don't I don't suggest you use a very high and expensive um, sewing machine. No, no, you don't want that because then you're going to damage your sewing. Now, unless you're going to be cleaning that all the time, which you should, take a duster, a black vacuum, vacuum all that out um, because it gets the fibers from the paper and threads okay you want to make sure you take one of those um blow dusting thingy cans can in a dust or whatever you call those things and squirt it or take your vacuum cleaner and kind of suck in all those little fibers or suck them out so on this i went carefully and i used my inexpensive brother's um runway sewing machine and i stitched it down there and that kind of keeps my pages from locking or moving in um, and being lost, okay? So that's pretty much what I did there. And, and to make sure you do that, always make sure it's all flushed perfectly, you know, and that's what I did. I used a ground espresso and I because it is a Halloween theme and the grunginess of, you know, the, the Halloween, um, I love the ground espresso. And I use a lot of the vintage photos, but for this, I use that. Now, make sure that all your signatures are in the upright and make sure they're all like that. I'm going to put them like that so that when I grab and I start attaching, I know that they are all going in the right direction. So, all right. So, if I take my little template, it sh this these holes should match up with the holes of your little your little template okay and again on this is probably um, let me see if I can give you this this measurement is two and three eighth by three and three quarters the first um, piercing hole is at a quarter inch then at one and three quarter inch and then at three and a half inch um, so it's all with a quarter inch piercing a top and bottom hem okay so take your little template score it in the middle and then you're going to align it top and bottom flush in the center and take your piercing tool and pierce through all of it okay do that to all of them and then when you have all of them make sure they're all going in the upright and they are so i'm going to put them just like that so that when i grab them they are in the right direction. Now take your um, your piece that you've taken, and this is going to be the part that's going to be attached to your book. You're going to take, um, I'm just using crochet thread, the thin one, and a needle. And you're going to start from the outside, or the back part, and take your needle in, grab your little your little book here. I can see the hole. My problem is seeing. Right there. So from the outside in, go into the middle one. Okay. If you want, you can take that little tail from the, the back and use a little painter's tape. Go into the center one of your little template 
here. Not it's not really a template, but you know, the little spine thing. And then pull it. You want to leave a tail because that's where we're tying. Okay, and then go back to the bottom one. And to the last hole on your little journal. Pull it tight. Make sure it's all nice and tight. No wonkiness, no saggy threads. We don't want saggy. Okay, so once you've pulled, go back into the center hole and it'll meet right there. See? Pull it. Make sure all of it's nice and tight, okay? You don't want it tight, tight that you're gonna, when you're pulling, you're gonna tear into your spine or any of that, um, or your signatures. You wanna make sure, remember it's paper, so be delicate, it's not, it's not like it's fabric, it's gonna tear. All right, if I can grab with my nails. Nails don't help, they're pretty. But, you know, for a crafter, it's not the most ideal thing to do. A crafter with arthritis in the hand, no. Not, not, not the smartest thing that I've done, but it's just pretty. Makes you feel pretty, too. Right. Tying is not my best forte. Especially not with nails. Huh, didn't even tie that. Look at that. May, you're so brilliant. You're super, you're such a genius. Tie you guys. If I had a brain, I would be dangerous. Right, make sure it's tight. Okay. This is where I feel times because now with my nails I know that wasn't tight my nails are not very helpful and I need to get them trimmed uh, let's get a knot out of here it's not good I really don't know how a lot of people do things with nails. Like, um, I should have, when I went to get them refilled, I should have gotten them trimmed down, but I was trying to rush, get out of there. All right, let's do this again. If you have someone with little fingers, like my little finger girl is not here. Um, I just don't bend my fingers really easily. I do double knot and then there, there's that. And yes, it's a waste of um, thread, but that's okay. I should hopefully have enough to do another one. What do I mean about nails? So pretty, but gosh, by gosh. Who ever thought about doing work with nails? And believe it or not, I do, I'm the one that, I don't have a cleaning maid or anything like that, but I do all my housework. Okay, so now make sure everything's in the upright. Grab your next signature. Top again. Something. I knew I'd find it eventually. 
sometimes. <laughs> I think that scal a Scarecrow song from The Wizard of Oz was made specifically for me. I tell you guys, really. It really was. I think they had me in mind when they created that one. If only I had a brain. Sometimes I can amaze myself. Alright. I'm all fingers here. It's not it's not normally this complicated, but because of me trying to make sure I'm in focus and I'm working with a th small thread. Of course, I was trying to conserve. Okay. Fingers, 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 fingers. Fingers and conserving thread. Yeah, not so good here. And back into the center. Now, don't ever do it where you have such a little piece of thread. You know? Because you want to make sure you have enough thread so you're not struggling, especially when you have these little fingers, butter fingers. And arthritis. Butterfingers and arthritis. Let's move this where my hands can grip that better. You want to make sure it's tight. That's important. But not tight where you're going to tear your pages. Okay. It's a little bit. We good. Doable. That's good. That's doable. It's doable. Okay. Then we're going to grab another one. And I apologize for the butterfingers. I don't sit here and measure, oh, we need to do the length of the book and this and that to figure out how much thread, um, I just go by how is my hands going to handle. Like a little tiny piece of thread, I know my hands do not handle very well. Last signature, top again, and again. And when I say you can take some painter's tape, um, you can take a piece of painter's tape and just kind of tack that down, a little tail, just makes it easy so it's not wiggling all over the place and you're not losing it. Right. Center. Center. Oh, wow. That's really genius. Genius, May. Wrong signature. Did you guys see that? Only caught on camera. Bloopers. And bloopers and nails. That's what I need to call this video. Bloopers and nails. All right. Make sure all the signatures are in the right direction. Bloopers and nails. Nails and bloopers. Alright. Bloopers and nails. 
So, go down in the middle and pull it back. I seriously need to go in and get my nails trimmed. You guys are going to hear about these nails all night, all day. But they look pretty, May, they say. They look pretty, says my daughter. Mom, they look so pretty. Oh, yeah. In the real world of housewives of crafters, mm, they're not that pretty. Well, this one's a little easy because I can probably just, you know, get all these other ones out of the way and clip all this mess. There we go. You guys are probably laughing at me. Aww. That's okay. I laugh at myself too. It's totally okay, guys. It really is. All right. I laugh at myself. I love myself more when I'm tying. Yeah, I don't know. The struggle is so real when I have to tie. And I know Brianna loves to use her little fingers to help me tie these things. All right, now we can cut all these little pieces that, um, Just extras, you know. Okay, so you're left with that, right? And see, they're all nice. They're not wonky or anything like that. One's not going up, one's not going down. And then all you have to do now is make sure it all goes attached to your journal or your spine. I left on this particular design, I left about an eighth of an inch top and bottom. So just make sure you do that. Now before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and grab my ruler because on the other one I put a little hole. And let's go in the inside. And I'm going to take and mark it at about a half inch and take your crocodile your little crocodile do hickey thing Grab your eyelet. And you're going to first attach this because we have to punch now. Um, we have to attach our um, decorative page. So that's going to go just like that. We make sure all this is nice. I like all my threads. Sometimes people think that it gets in your way of your, but I just like the character of it. See all the thread looks so, so pretty. All right, just take your, Make sure you get in there really good. Right? 
few on the threads as well. Okay, I like using Fabri Tac. It's just um, personal preference. Make sure everything's going on the right direction. That's important. All right, and then go in and place it. We have about it. Yep, perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay, press down on it as best as you can. On these little flaps, we need to take your bone folder and your fabric tack. I like it, like I said, I like I prefer fabric tack. I really honestly do. One, it's just so much easier to clean when you're removing the adhesive with a rubbery razor, a eraser. And two, it glues faster and it does not warp. It does not ruin your your piece. It really doesn't. And I just love it. And the other main reason also is, you know, you can use your Joann fabric coupon to purchase it at Joann's, whereas with art glitter glue, not so much. It's an expensive bottle of glue. Honestly, you're not getting a very good glue. You can take some clips. I got these from Dollar Tree for a box, pack of six, and you can just get it there. And then do the same thing on the opposite side. Keep reminding me, Sylv, that I have to give you guys the measurements so you guys can join in on the fun tonight. So there we go. All right. I'm going to clean my bottle tip. I hate it to look so dirty and grungy. Okay. And grab your moon folder and burnish that in. It seeps. If it seeps, just wait till it dries up and then grab your rubber eraser. These things are amazing and you can get them for a dollar at Dollar Tree. Burnish that in really good. And take your clip and clip that there. Alright, so there's that. Isn't that awesome? Looks nice, and then you can open up the inside page and kind of burnish in. And that, let me get this one. Off. In the center of the signature, you know. Don't meet it. Definitely don't need our scoreboard now. Let's try to leave that. Okay. So you see all that gummy? It's so much easy to take your eraser. And just rub it off. It just comes out like so nicely. And you're not ruining, you know, a nice page because you've torn it because the glue doesn't do that. Art glitter glue does not allow you to do that. So then you're just going to take your two pieces of cardstock. Um, to go in the inside 
and those two pieces of the cardstock is two and seven eighth by three and three quarters and two and seven eighth by three and three quarters and that kind of goes right on top like so there like that kind of hides your little hidden spine hinge but it'll lay right there so that it gives it a nice clean crisp okay um, but before you do that you want to make sure it kind of dries up before you do that and clean up all your little glue webs or your glue boogies as I call them and and then once you re removed it then you can attach those so that's basically it and then what we're gonna do is um, cut out your decorative piece your outside decorative for the spine is 7 8 by 3 and 7 8 and then you're going to um, attach your eyelet like so so go ahead and do that and then cut two pieces of the decorative for the outside two and seven eight by three and seven eight and attach that and do the same thing for the inside and you will um, cut the inside decorative designer paper two and three quarters by three and five eight and you will have your journal up to speed with me so I'm going to go ahead and give you guys a measurement. I'm going to let that kind of, um, here's my two decorative for the outside, which is two and seven eighth by three and seven eighth. Um, and put that aside there. Save your little templates because you can always keep using them, right? All right. And so your measurements for this little mini is you need two pieces of chipboard that is two pieces that is three by four three by four and then you need one piece for the spine that is one by four and this is chipboard and then for your card stock you need a matting um, and that is six by nine and a quarter you're going to score it at one inch on the ninth nine and one quarter inch side. Let's see, that's too much light. Nine and quarter, the nine and quarter inch side, you're gonna score it at one inch and eight and a quarter. Then you're gonna turn your paper sideways and on the six inch side, you're gonna score it at one and score it at five. And see where these little X's are? Those are the little extra triangles. You're gonna snip those out, cut those little X's out and then you're going to miter your little edges. Then you're going to take your cardstock chipboard, your, I mean your chipboard, and place it on the cardstock, leaving a 1 8 inch gusset for the spine on each side. That's your matting for your um, book. That's this. This is the black matting. And see that? That's your matting, okay? Um, then, um, again, like I said, you need two pieces of your mat. Um, for the inside, that is two and seven eight by three and three quarters. For your hidden hinge spine to attach your signatures, it is two and a half by three and three quarters. You're going to score it at three quarters and then one and three quarters. And then remember your center is one and seven eighth. And then you're gonna do that, this here. This is this right here, okay? All right. Then for your um, outside decorative pieces, you need two pieces that are two and seven eighth by three and seven eighth. And then you need a piece for the spine that's seven eighth by three and seven eighth. And then for your inside piece, um, you're going to need two pieces that are two and three quarters by three and five eighth. Okay. Now for your signature pages, um, they are, you need three covers. And the covers are the decorative covers like you see here. Those are three and three quarters by five and three quarters. 
and you're scoring it at two and seven eighth. For your um, inside pages, which I use coffee dye paper and little tags and other uh, wax paper and other little things that were left here. They are three and three quarters by five and three quarters and then you score it in the center. Um, you want to distress your edges, sew it, stitch it, whatever, before you attach to your book, okay? It just makes it easier. And then, um, as I said, tonight we're gonna decorate these pieces and um, finish up the journal. So I hope that made a lot of sense to you. If you have any questions, if I sounded like a little bit cuckoo for coca puffs just send me a message um and i would be happy to answer your messages um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so leave a comment in the um, description below let me know what you guys think about this video um if you like it give me a thumbs up if you don't like it that's okay i don't have to please everybody once we all know that um and i hope to see you guys tonight to finish decorating this journal book Halloween style and you can use it for any ho uh, holiday or any for any anything that you're making you can use this so anyway I hope this is helpful till next time guys stay safe God bless bye bye